but everybody's going to cover their eyes and act shocked like, oh, he did this. It's like, yeah, he did the thing needed to accomplish what you want to see be accomplished. People are so disingenuous, it makes me sick, dude. Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. Your home for gains and brains. And today we have a video I've been meaning to make. It's probably gonna lose me some subscribers. Some of you as we speak are probably smashing unsubscribe. How dare you say this? I thought you were one of the good ones, right? Today we're going to talk about virtue signaling natties or as I like to call them, Noble Natties, trademark. And we're going to talk about a lot of related issues in this video, but let's get the first thing out of the way, guys. It is the new year. And what does that mean? I'm sure you all know this. The gyms are going to be even more crowded than normal. And whether you're going to be entering a gym for the first time, maybe you're returning to the gym after an extended layoff, or maybe you're like me and have been going ravenously for months and years, and you're just trying to find an open machine amidst the chaos. No matter what your individual circumstance is, guys, I think you would agree we all care about performance, and we all know that our hormone levels and our health is directly linked to that performance. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. This is no secret, guys, but if your hormone levels are out of whack, you're going to struggle building muscle and strength and even losing fat. That's why I've partnered with Let's Get Checked to help you guys get a better picture of your health and your hormones from the comfort of your own home. You simply go to their website. You're going to look at their package of male hormone tests. I would recommend the male hormone complete test. That's going to give you an overall look at your testosterone, SHBG, free androgen index, estradiol, cortisol, and prolactin. Once you select your test, they will ship it to you in only a matter of days. Discreet shipping. Once you get the package, all you have to do is follow the instructions inside, prick a little bit of blood from your finger, fill up the tube, ship it back, and you're going to get your results very quickly. They are available exclusively on the online portal, and one of their nurses will give you a personal call discussing your lab results going over the findings and discussing if anything is abnormal. Everyone watching this channel should be knowledgeable about their own hormones. And especially in the context of today's video, guys, you do not want to be doing guesswork here. So be sure to go to trylgc.com slash revivalfitness. Use the code REVIVAL for 30% off of your order. Get your hormones in order. Get your blood work checked. Find out where you stand and make the appropriate decisions. But please guys, do not go into this blind. So thank you to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. And now we're going to talk about the meat and potatoes here. We don't play dumb here. And as much as people like to thump their chest about being natural and the pride of being natty and how doing just one cycle is gonna ruin your life, these PEDs guys, whether these things are given through a doctor or found in the underground, they're everywhere. The issue of PEDs and fitness in the gym and sports in general is not going away, guys. No amount of pearl clutching, chest thumping, or virtue signaling is going to change that. And especially today, you guys can look at these videos on YouTube. PEDs are the most popular thing to talk about in fitness. You can look at a lot of channels, guys. A little bit of views, a little bit of views. Talk about PEDs. Twice the views, triple the views. You guys see a lot too, right? All these natty or not videos, which are pure speculation 99% of the time, they get tons of views. What about this drug? A bunch of views, right? Everybody is interested in PEDs, even people who have been natural and plan to be natural for their entire life. Because for all the people who do the shaming and all of these other things when it comes to this topic, they try to put themselves on the high horse and paint themselves as high and mighty above other people. Here's a harsh truth but many of you know this is true. The same guys who do this virtue signaling behavior, they would hop on their first cycle if they knew where to get it and if they weren't scared of needles. That's a fact. A lot of these guys, if those two circumstances were met or one of those circumstances was met, 
they would be on their first cycle instantly. I mean, uh, basic, you know, your test, D-ball, it, it's just basic stuff. Okay, and I do not encourage anybody to go on PEDs, guys. I do not encourage anything illegal, especially if you're younger. Far too many guys in the gym now jump on within weeks and months of entering the gym. Like if your age begins with one, guys, stop watching. Go do your homework. I would encourage you to get at least five clean years of natural training experience under your belt before you even consider these things. And once again, what I'm saying here is not going to change anybody's mind. I'm sure right now some of you, as you watch this video in the other tab, you've got up SARM Tech or Proven Peptides or wherever else you want to get your stuff, right? Whether it's SARMs or legitimate old school gear guys, people are going to do this. So get out of here with this cope that, oh, well, I'm a better person just because I'm not doing it. You want to do it. Again, be honest. Most people, if you're into gym culture, especially if you follow serious bodybuilding and powerlifting, you've thought about it at least one time. Don't pretend like you have. And again, you guys cannot fool me. Everybody that we watch in this space, the biggest and strongest people, the best physiques, the most famous, Every single one of them have done PEDs. Many are still on them, or at least they were on a ton of them during the peaks of their career. Like there's dudes on here with Arnold Schwarzenegger avatars. They watch Machiavelli motivation videos every single week. They watch Ronnie Coleman react to Larry Wheels. They watch endless Natty or Not content. But then we're supposed to believe that they would never do PEDs. They would never even think of it. Are you guys serious? You are wasting my time. You are wasting your time. And you're pissing me off. I think most people accept at this point, besides just complete beginners and those totally ignorant of this space, or just total fanboys, to get serious, like, breathtaking, eye-popping results, you're going to have to go on PEDs. Or 98% of people are going to have to do so. That's simply reality. And especially today now, we see more and more people, younger and younger people, openly discussing this topic. Because you can't hide it forever. It's out in the open, the cat's out of the bag. This is not something you should rush into or feel pressured into. This is not something you should be doing out of insecurity, especially. Okay, if you got a beach trip coming up or a wedding, and you're like, man, I gotta get big and ripped for that. What should I do? The magic pills, bad idea, guys. That's going to create a bad cycle of dependency, especially if you never learned how to train properly. So that's the precursor here, guys. Once you get your baseline training knowledge mastered, the lifestyle mastered, you milk out your novice and late intermediate gains, maybe into advanced gains, then you can discuss this topic with me at least. But if you're a total beginner, guys, you're 18, 20 years old, 21, been in the gym for six months, I think it's time to hop on to get results, bro. You're going down a dark road, man. Get your shit together first. But once again, it is a personal choice. And that's why I fundamentally disagree with the people who thump their chest about it, the noble natties. They'll say things like, oh, doing one cycle is gonna take years off of your life. And imagine taking PEDs to achieve some look. All of this stuff, right? And a lot of you guys have to understand, dude, once you get really into this lifestyle, this essentially becomes inevitable for certain people, especially if you have serious goals, championship powerlifting, competitive bodybuilding, strongman, any sort of competition, even just for modeling purposes, guys, acting. These things essentially become necessary. That's kind of the big elephant in the room. Everybody has to do them to reach what people want to see, but everybody's gonna cover their eyes and act shocked, like, oh, he did this? It's like, yeah, he did the thing needed to accomplish what you want to see be accomplished. People are so disingenuous, it makes me sick, dude. But ultimately, assuming the baseline criteria are met, you're of age, ideally, I'd say mid-20s, once your hormones have really stopped developing, you're done fully growing, you have your baseline knowledge, you've hit impressive strength standards on multiple lifts, you have a solid physique that you've gained naturally. Once those precursors are met, guys, it's a personal choice. If you want to do it, go for it. Like I said, get your blood work. That's probably step one here. Don't just go into this blind. You see endless forum posts and videos, right? Oh, the horror story of this cycle. This guy went on whatever compound. A ton of acne, terrible blood work, uh, couldn't get an erection for seven years, all this stuff, right? That could happen, guys. That's part of this process, right? Whenever you cash in your natty card and join the so-called dark side, especially if you're going the underground route, 
you don't know, dude. You don't know what you're getting. You really don't. You might trust the guy who you're getting it from. You might think you know the people, whatever. You don't know. It's essentially rolling dice. Now you can roll small dice and bet small amounts of money, you know, low doses, moderate stuff to begin. But a lot of people want the results, the big results immediately. They want to go on trend from day one, right? They throw all their money right at the table. All right, I'm putting it all on seven. Bad idea, guys. For mental health, physical health, side effects, your own money, that's probably a bad idea. And especially in America, where health insurance is not given to people, you know, you could have a potential issue that arises from this that could run you a lot of money. You might not be able to pay for it all. Like, you know, you might be going into debt with hospital bills for one bad cycle or a bad batch. It can happen, bro. I don't wish it upon anybody, but it can happen, right? So in terms of that, the potential consequences, being natural wins in terms of just mental peace. Because you don't have to worry about this. You don't have to worry about legality, extra money, side effects, health consequences. Oh, my guy left town. Where do I get it now? All that stuff, right? You can just kind of coast through your life as a natural and everything's good, right? No harm, no foul. But then you're going to think, especially the longer you do this and the more into this you get, you're going to see your friends go on. You're going to see the older guys go on TRT and look 10 years younger. You're going to see guys online smash records and win physique shows and get movie roles looking the way they look and performing how they perform. And you're going to have to sit there and be like, I'm probably never going to do that. If you can accept that, excellent. You're good. But some people mentally can't accept that. And I totally understand that position, guys. You see enough people do something, you're like, if they all did this to get there, I could do that too. There's only one way to find out but that does involve risk. So ultimately, guys, this is a matter of trade-offs, not virtue or right and wrong. But this goes back to why the virtue signaling natties, at least in my opinion, are so insufferable. Because they really think that they're better than other people or that they have some moral high ground because they never decided to take that risk or because they're too scared to take that risk. And another thing too you guys have to understand a lot of these channels and influencers you guys follow who are lifetime natural, they're not. A lot of those guys are on a considerable amount of stuff and you have no idea. And how would you know? Which that's going to go into another point, guys. It does not really affect you. Okay, somebody's natural status. This is why I go against the whole natty or not thing so hard. I've said before, it's mental masturbation. It's a complete waste of time. Because there are guys in your gym right now who look like they've barely touched a weight. They're six weeks into a cycle, 12 weeks into a cycle. There are also guys in your gym who are extremely strong and never done anything. All right, so just looking at somebody, besides extreme examples, of course, like bodybuilders and stuff, there's no way to know based on looking at somebody alone what they are or are not on. There's no way to do it. You can watch all the natty or nots, all the hypotheticals, all this mental masturbation. You have no way to know. It's complete speculation, and that's fundamentally why it's a waste of time. I said this in my old Natty or Not video, guys, which is going to be two years old this coming summer, but it does not affect you. Someone else's natural status does not affect your own hormones, your own gains, your own training, knowledge, or recovery. It affects none of that. Really, guys, the only thing that someone else's natural status affects in terms of you directly is if you're in a tested competition and they beat a test or they lie about it and don't get caught. That's pretty much the only way this can directly affect you. Now, in that same token, I pretty obviously don't endorse fake natties, people who lie about their methods and results to achieve something. Oh, I'm all natural, bro. Here, buy XYZ. This is how I got my results. I do not support that. But once again, unfortunately, this is the industry. It's far more prevalent than not. What can we do about it, bro? You're not going to stop the fake nattiness. It's never going to end. You can be like Philly on and rail against these guys all the time. You can do your natty or nots and try to call it out, then give obvious passes to the guys who have the same sponsor as you. Okay. But fundamentally, guys, all you can do is spread legitimate information to the best of your ability and help people if you're so inclined. But this whole fake natty thing, as much as it sucks, I know it's terrible. It's never going to stop. I would encourage honesty from people who do so, or at least don't lie about it. Don't say you're natural when you're not. Because I understand why people don't talk about it, guys. Legality, 
social stigmas. It's a very tricky topic. That's the inherent nature of this topic. But there is no right or wrong, morally speaking. It is a choice. So, if you are desperate for gains and you're new to the gym and you're expecting some magical shortcut, this is not going to work for you, man. A lot of you guys have delusional expectations of how these things actually work. People think PEDs guys are like a magic pill in a cartoon. Like you just take one shot, boom, you become the Hulk. That's not how this works, guys. And if you do as much as necessary to get rapid results like that, you're probably going to get so many side effects rapidly concurrently with it that it's not worth taking. It's like anything else from what I can tell, guys. Slow and steady wins the race. Some people genetically can do more or less than others. But if you go balls to the wall extreme right off the bat, you're probably going to pay for it. And once again, you can still make excellent progress with muscle gain, strength gain, fat loss, all three of those things. You can still make excellent results totally naturally. So don't fall into the genetic black pill as if, oh, I have bad genetics, I have to go on PEDs to get any semblance of results. That's a crock of crap. Do not believe that. But in the same token too, be realistic. When you see these guys on the Olympia stage in elite power lifters, and things like that, movie actors who get massive in two or three months. Pretty obvious, right? So once again, there's nuance and balance here, but fundamentally there is no right and wrong, in my opinion. Some guys are older and get TRT through a doctor, some guys are younger and have a big goal and they decide to do it. It is what it is, guys. We all end up dying at the end of the day and nobody really cares. But you're not virtuous or high and mighty because you don't choose to do something, and you're also not an amazing person just because you hopped on some sauce to get your results. If you don't have legit training knowledge, if your recovery is lackluster, right, these things are going to catch up to you. So ultimately it's up to you, but no matter what you do guys, please be smart, okay? Get your blood work, consult a doctor, try to keep it moderate, don't just hinge your life on these compounds thinking you're going to become some incredible godlike physique or insanely strong when that's probably not the case. Be smart, be diligent, be realistic, make your choices. And let's be honest, a lot of these guys who are virtuous, chest-thumping natties right now, they're gonna be singing a different tune in six months, a year, two years. People's minds are gonna change, guys. That's the nature of the beast. But that is the end of my rant, guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you wanna see next down below. Get off your soapbox, start being realistic, Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to the Patreon supporters. And I will catch you guys next time.